Right, all morning we've been showing you quick dishes and speedy suppers, but now, time to slow things down a little bit. Down some lovely, slow cooking with JC Novelli. What's on the menu, JC? Well, today we've got pork belly. And yeah. what I want to do is to braise it very slowly mm. with some uh, dry cider. I'm going to use a little bit, little bit of spice like star anise, star anise. some uh, uh, fennel seed, mm -hmm. a touch of sugar, of course, and some, uh, some uh, beef uh, cube. Beef okay. cube. Now, uh, pork belly, and a lot of people won't use pork belly because they think it's far too fatty, mm -hmm. but we as chefs love pork belly, don't we? I mean, Absolutely. it's melting, you cook it long and slow so the fat comes out, uh -huh. and it's delicious. I think it's one of the it's best cuts. Absolutely. And the, the most important thing with this cut is the fact that this this is the top, obviously, but the there. fat. I actually took the rind off, right. put a very hot pan on the on the on the on the hob, turn this over, turn this over, and let the the, the fat melting very very slowly. Yeah. Now wh what's happened is we get the colors. Yeah. Now the first the second thing is seasoning, very important always, okay. even a bit of salt. Now what I want to do is to introduce this with, as I said, some spices. I feel spices. very very I feel very nostalgic because. The smell coming out is remind me when I was a kid, by the way. Is it? Therefore, believe it or not, I'm going to put some star anise, and this is amazing. If you don't like that type of spice, you can you can use licorice. Right. Uh, you can use nutmeg and so on. I'm going to put those those seeds. Final seeds on the top. Okay. Then, this is very important. The cider has to be absolutely dry, not very dry. Soup, okay? okay. And why but, why is that particularly? Well, I believe there is more. I believe there is a lot more core into the power of that, of that, um, that, um, how can mm. I say that, the, the liquid, okay? So that's now, deglazing the pan, getting all the lovely flavors going to drip down from the pork there, Now, every time you use, exactly, every time you use some kind of alcohol, you have to add a touch of sugar. Just a touch? Just no more. So that's why you didn't okay. use sweet cider, but you just put a little tiny bit of sugar that's in right. there. Now, the tip is, I'm going to put some cube. You can use chicken cube or, or ox cube. Okay. Or, yeah. And cubes. I should be deleting that with water, but I don't want to bring more water because the thing is, the whole idea is to put it in oven very quickly and let it glaze slowly. Okay. okay. Therefore, you're going to put it in oven. I okay. put it. I'm going to put it now, over there. Before you do so, there's an addition of oh, things right. like onions. This is optional, but onions are never all, is quite oh, harmless. Yeah. Good, aren't they? Now you can put some garlic. Yep. Yeah. There we are. Like this. You don't have to chop them too much. You want the garlic to release the, the flavor very slowly. Mm -hmm. Yeah, like this. Then I'm going to put some more, some more seeds. A little bit more fennel seeds. Some herbs, of course. We can't do without herbs. Absolutely. I've got some thyme. Yeah, you can put some bay leaves or rosemary. And this should be melting, cooking very slowly, okay. braising in oven for. Now, halfway through, would you sort of turn the pork over? Yes. Yeah. If you can, okay. yes. I put that one there for the moment. I've Perfect. Got, got one in the oven for you. Absolutely. Now. Mm. Logically speaking, if you let it braise very slowly, you should end up with something which is yeah. absolute. We turn we turn the oven off earlier for you, so we just you. let it rest there. Look at this. Thank you. Remove that bit of paper. Whoa. And this is the great thing about this recipe Sticky is that you are dealing with something which is naturally and very. Look at this. The, the, the sauce. Oh, it's like gluey. And it's the dry, the dry cider make that lovely effect and that. Powerful mm. test. Now, what I want to do is to is to to serve it with uh, some kind of a potato, <laughs> sliced potatoes, which is called pomme boulangère. Pomme boulangère are basically sliced potatoes, yeah. onions, okay, some herbs and some stock, okay. Yeah. What I want to do is to make it a little bit more original. Therefore, the idea is to have a dish, mm -hmm. an oven dish, a bit of butter. Put your sliced okay. potatoes. I suggest you don't keep your sliced potatoes in water, otherwise you lose the starch. Yeah. Now, half away, you put some kind of a <coughs> Those onions have been just softened. Sweated off with a That's tiny right, bit of colour. Yeah. Then what I want to do is to add some cabbage leaves. Now there's different options. You can actually sweat them with some, some olive oil or mm -hmm. some uh, duck fat oil. Yeah? yeah. Now the cabbage will give extra flavours, some different textures. Then we put back the potatoes. Take yeah. your time. I mean there's no it's, it's quite a classic. It's a French classic, believe it or not. I'm, I'm trying to put the rest of it. Now the idea is to put your stock into it. Now you, you sliced your potatoes quite thin, yes, so they cook much quicker. Yeah, absolutely. I'm going to show you exactly what I believe will cook in something like mm. uh, 50 minutes. Yeah. It's that size. Yeah. Okay. Now, obviously, because I'm crazy about cheese, <laughs> I'm going to put a little bit of cheddar on the top. 
Make sure you got enough stock mm. just in the same level of the potatoes. Because, of course, this isn't a classic. You, you, we said earlier, you, you know, you're going to have a little twist on it. That's the cheese and the cabbage, yeah? Yes. And normally it would be beef stock. You're using a much lighter stock there. That's, okay. that's right. That, that goes in the oven, and that will take a good 15 minutes. Now, what's happening is, the great thing is, you can prepare, put things in the oven, go, go away somewhere, whatever. You Down come the back, and it's cooked. <laughs> now, I'm going to show you a tip, which yes. is... First, I would like to see the result of this beautiful yeah, potatoes. I'll put it on there for Thank you. Thank you. I hate that. No, you look at this. Oh. oh, I mean, we need a recession. Huh? Absolutely. <laughs> now, before, because we're dealing with pork, and we want to make sure, you might be impressed by the color, but you've got to make sure the pork is cooked. Therefore, the only way you can do so is to plunge a knife like this very slowly and just take it off, and you can see clearly. It's been detached, there is no marks. Yeah. And the pork belly is actually cooked. Now, I'm going to show you another tip, which is very simple. Quick is, tip. Yes. First, we're going to move this into... Would you like to slice this? Yeah? I'll slice you a slice okay. for you. A couple of slices here. Yeah. Look at how the onions are glazed completely with the cider. Now, Ooh. if you want the sauce or your gravy or your juice melting even more on, on your plates, yeah? Mm -hmm. <clears throat> I think it'll be a shame to cut this gratin, okay? Mm. I'll give you an idea. You put your, your pan back on the, on the, on the, on the stove, yeah? Yep. And you add a little bit of olive oil. And this is going is to allow a little bit of glossy, glazed, beautiful, shiny mm. flavors. Now, you can see I'm panicking because I actually realized... What have you realized? I'm trying to make it as well as my mother. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Here's a wooden spoon. No, you wouldn't it. use That's a metal spoon. Now, your mum would use CD heat, CD heat, wooden spoon. Of course, yeah, now I've been told off. <laughs> I'm going to scoop a bit of this because I do, have yes. to see. I'll let you, see I'll let you okay. go for it. Now, you can see clearly the sauce is incredible. Um, wow. If I can have a spoon. You may. Look at that. And I think it's important that the cider has give, give that wonderful flavor and also the sweetness of the sugar give that fantastic mm. uh, mix. Yeah. Now, the potatoes will release a little bit of sauce. Shall now, I put a nice slice on for absolutely. you? Absolutely. And then we're going to put a sauce on the top and that's it. It looks gorgeous. It says it. Now, as we know, usually pork belly is about 13 pounds in weight. Mm. Don't be scared. You can always use the, the other side and use the ribs. Or you can make a salad the next day or something. Absolutely. Now, you can see clearly the, the touch of olive oil has low. Look at this. This lovely glaze, glaze oh. effect. And that's it. You don't, need, you don't need more. You don't need more. Et voilà, table ten, ça marche. <laughs> <laughs> Beautiful stuff. <laughs> Wow. Looks excellent, doesn't it, you?